You might have seen this video title and been like, why are we doing this in July? Why not wait until the holiday season? And well, the point of this whole tip is to have it throughout the year so that when the holiday season comes around and it's time to buy Christmas gifts, you have ideas already to go. And so this works in any getting things done app. I'm using things just because it's what I use, but you can use this anywhere. So if we look at this project I set up and basically under my home area in things, I have a Christmas gifts project and I have this set up pretty well to basically show I have an icon in the name of the project, which I always think is fun, helps me differentiate things in the sidebar really easily. But I'm using some of things features to make this layout really, really nice. And so I have ideas basically in here for me, for my wife, for my family, for her family and for anyone. Right. And so I see these are ideas just that gifts I think would be fun for anybody. There's gift ideas I have for other people when they ask me for a list. Here's some things that I want. And I don't have a lot here right now. This is partially because it's July, but it's also partially because I don't want to share all my gift ideas <laughs> online. But I do this by basically creating tasks that go into the Christmas gifts project. And then I'm using tags to assign them to specific people. So these have the me tag. Uh, these don't have any tags. And then I, you can see some names up here of tags I've used in the past. Um, so I've got the in-laws, I've got John, my brother, Jane, my sister, uh, my dad, cousin, you know, my mo mom, all these things. And so the best way to show this in action is to really just add one. So I'm gonna go over to Amazon. I got Ghost of Tsushima pulled up here and I know this is gonna be a good gift for my brother. And so I'm going to use the quick entry, which I talked about in another video to pull up this information. There we go. And then I just need to assign the project to Christmas gifts. And then I don't have a date on it, that's fine, but I do wanna tag it. And I'm gonna tag it with John. So I've assigned him, save it and then I can hide Safari. And if I go into here and I look right there, I've got that item, it's assigned to John, and I actually wanna organize it because we kinda of do multiple Christmases. I'm gonna drag this under my family, right? And so that I can have his gifts there, I can have my dad's mom's there as well. So that's really it. And <laughs> the idea of this is that when you see a thing that you know someone else would like or that you would like, and you are dreading November, December, when people are like, hey, what's on your Christmas list? Or what are you gonna get me? Uh, you can use this to kind of collect things throughout the year. And so this is really nice um, for keeping track of those things. Uh, if you save links, you can get to them really easily. And then, yeah, and then these are just like, I don't know what to get this person. <laughs> oh, this hot chocolate mix, uh, this could be pretty nice. Or like, there's all sorts of things here that are uh, could be good for anybody. One last thing about how this works in things is that I'm using these headers. And so you make these by using this button down here. And so I click that, that's gonna be a new heading. Uh, this is gonna be strangers. So we'll have a heading for strangers, right? And so there's that. I can move specific ones under there. I don't have a good one here, but these are easily draggable around from each item to item. And then you can just, of course, remove them whenever you're done with them. But they're just kind of a way to organize these specific pages in things. Other apps probably have similar things, but this is how it works in here. And so yeah, that was my tip for how to keep track of what people in your life want for Christmas, <laughs> what you may want for Christmas, or any holiday, any events uh, where you may be giving gifts. It's nice to have a way to do that in your task manager. Okay.